Hello channel friends, this is WCopen38 and on today's show I'm bringing you something a little bit different. That I'd show you some of the different uh, types of hats I have and a lot of them I wear, I wear almost all of them at one point or another but I thought it might be interesting to show you the different styles of camouflage and things that you can wear in your uh, everyday uh, use of hats. Now this, this style is the one that I prefer Yes, I have baseball caps and all, but what you need in the, the valley here is you need something with a brim because if your ears are sensitive at all, when you have the heat that we have, uh, you'll wind up getting your ears burned pretty good. And when I used to be out uh, in the wide open where there was no shade, uh, it was real easy to get uh, a pretty good sized sunburn. Now this hat, this is a standard tan. It's got a nice brim on it. It's got the webbing. It's a really good solid construction. It's got a pretty sizable, uh, decent inseam in it. And it's one that's uh, approved by uh, a lot of the military people. Okay. Uh, when I wear this one, it's primarily light because in the sun, the if you have a darker color, then of course uh, it's going to absorb a little bit more heat than something like this. Now these run about $16 give or take a little bit. I took the time to have the uh, flag sewn on to mine and I'm look, checking on having something else done but that's going to be on, a, on another video. I'm thinking about sending them out and having an a emblem put on. Okay, take a look at this one. Now there's nothing really special about it. This is just a plain tan. Now the next hat that I have is what's uh, pretty much termed. This was a Vietnam color. It's the standard olive. Now this is what actually uh, the style I wore at work. This green it went with our uniforms. Uh, they're, they're no, they're not standard issue you had to we wound up having to go in and get permission from uh, the people that we work for to be able to wear one of these and like I said having this nice brim on it saved your ears a lot of problems saved us from getting uh, sunburns things like that it was a little bit more relaxed you didn't worry about it getting really dirty because uh, a just like the other one these were about twelve dollars now of course ours didn't have the flag on them they had a another emblem but they're really a good solid hat okay this was the Vietnam style now there's another one that has a Vietnam camo on it but I haven't gotten it yet and I'm probably going to be ordering one here pretty soon okay that's this style now my next one coming up this one here this one's the standard uh, ACU hat. Now ACU is for Army Combat Uniform. It's the style that the military is wearing right now. As you can see it's a digital, a digital camo. And it's uh, like I said like the military wear right now. It's a really nice comfortable little hat. You know they get the job done. It's got a nice strong band on it. Of course it's got the the leather and the drawstring for bringing it down tight so it, in case uh, it's windy and it won't blow off. You have this one. Now I also have it in the Woodland. Woodland Digital. This one's one of my favorites. It it's, doesn't stand out. It's uh, Got a nice coloring to it. If I'm out in the woods out here and I'm actually do, doing a few things, if I want to get prone and I have on a, another uniform that I have, uh, you blend in real nice. This is uh, a really good, uh, good style camouflage. This one works a lot better in the desert. Now they have other desert styles because anybody that's ever been out to the desert or even in high desert knows that the desert isn't just tan or brown. It, it's a lot of colors. You have purples, you have blues, you have some green, you have 
some faded green. You actually have some dark chocolate colors from the different rocks and all. So you need something that go from one area to the next. And as I said before, this is the standard ACU style that the uh, military are wearing. And this is the one in the woodland that they uh, would use in a, in a semi-jungle or over overbrushed area, things like that, where you have tall grass things, and uh, things of that nature. And like I said, these are all pretty much made the same, but they're really, really nice. Now this one, this one's made by Popper, and they have a, uh, I mean Proper, I'm sorry, it's made by Proper. And... They have a really good reputation. They make a good solid hat. Let's see, show that to you a little bit better. Of course, mine have the the American flag on them, but I'm going to be making a few changes. Now my next hat, this one, this is actually a British Army style. It's ones that the they use over with England for their camouflage. Now it also, I've seen from uh, other pictures, it's almost like the BDUs that our military have. The uh, battle dress uniforms, if you remember from uh, just before they went to the ACUs, they used colors that were like this. But these were colors that they might have used uh, in Vietnam, over in uh, Bosnia, where it has a lot of green foliage around, they made you uh, blend in really, really well. This one also has the uh, the leather. It's got the good drawstring on it. These are really nicely made. And one thing I did choose on all of mine is I do have the small brim. Now I've got some hats coming up that have the wide brim. And I'll show that to you in just a second here. My next hat, this was an Asian, this one, let me move this one out of the way. This hat is an Asian tiger stripe. This uh, looks really, really cool. I will be getting rid of this on this one. To give you a nice look at it. With the black and the green and the brown, this is one of the best, uh, blending in style hats that's out there. I've seen some people use them in the movies. I've seen them used on other YouTube channels and jungle scenarios where the dudes are out there playing soldier, getting down and dirty, wearing their camos. And it's a real nice substantial hat. It's really, really well made. The brims are uh, good and solid. They're not overly large. They get things done really, really well. Now, why do I like all the camel hats? You know what? It's nice to have a little hobby. They're not terribly expensive. I picked them up for about 12 bucks. I had an armor surplus in the area, so I went up there and just kind of grabbed whatever I liked. Found out what they went to, and that made it even more fun. Now, they, these are come in various sizes from uh, I believe six and three quarters all the way up to seven and three quarters and they're you know it's a nice hobby to have what can I say you know I don't smoke don't drink don't do anything like that so you know this is a good deal and uh, you know it's entertaining uh, if you notice I've used some of these in my uh, staging for some of the videos that I do when I take pictures of weapons I happen to put one of my hats down there just just for a nice little background, something to look at. I have a couple other hats, and these these are kind of have more. My next hats have a little bit more uh, sentimental feel to them. So let me get this one out of the way. Now my next hat. This I got, believe it or not, at a swap meet. Now the guy that was selling it. Uh, he had taken off and his son was out there selling it and I think he didn't really know what the price was going to be was supposed to be and he wound, I wound up getting it for five dollars now this hat this is a combo unit 
and it's a combo because if you can see here it's got snaps and it's a two-way it's a combination boonie hat and a regular hat and it's uh, designed for the Australian Outback because if you remember from the Aussies they always uh, have their hats folded up and snapped get this one these are a little stiff let's see if I can get this one to there you go straighten it out a little bit there you go you snap in place it's an outback look now this one here is woodland now when do I wear this one this is my uh, one of my veterans days hats it's got the green American flag on the front Uh, for me, Veterans Day is real important since uh, I had a lot of friends that were in the military. As uh, I'd mentioned before, I wasn't able to get in the military. And it's one of the things I've really missed out on in my, my own personal life, not being able to uh, have participated in the military experience or even made it a career. I'll show you this one all the way around. Now this one's considered a jungle, uh, a jungle slash woodland pattern. It's really dark green. I don't know if the camera brings it out very well, but it's a uh, really really cool. I like it a lot. It's got air breathing holes on the side, so it uh, doesn't get too hot on your head. And normally I've seen some of these hats. They went for 15 to 20 bucks without any emblem or anything on them. So uh, I thought I got a pretty good buy on this one. Okay, that's a nice look at this one. You know the camouflage goes all the way back to the days of the, in the Philippines, believe it or not, for how they used to hide in the jungles. I was taught, matter of fact I showed this to one of my uh, Friends, his uh, father-in-law is a Filipino, and he's actually a, a World War II survivor from uh, the PI. And some of the stories he tells me about what went on absolutely would, would make you cringe. Someday if I can get him to come on camera for me, I, I'd love it. He's a really interesting man to talk to. Hey, that's enough on, on this hat. Now my last hat is one of my favorites. It comes out on Memorial Day now and that's because this one here is the same style it's an Aussie Outback it's a two-way now this is a safari style because of the coloring it's kind of semi jungle semi desert because this is actually a uh, a tan with the dark green with the black it's got some chocolate in it this one does not have the air ho breathing holes in it but does have the, uh, the lanyard and the uh, strap to hold it in place you see get it back in camera now this this is why this one's for my uh, memorial day this is honor the POWs and MIAs that we lost during the Vietnam War and uh, as you've seen from some of my other videos the, uh, I've focused on that quite a bit because they've never really gotten their due they've uh, never been given their justice now one, of, one thing I'm planning is I'm going to try to get to DC here this year and I want to go visit the Vietnam War Memorial now granted I wasn't in the war but a lot of my friends were my brother uh, served over in Vietnam he was wound up being stuck in Thailand he was in the Air Force so he didn't go to Vietnam proper but hey if you were over in Southeast Asia then your life was in danger no matter where you were at so I, once again this is my hat that I put on when I'm saying thank you to the men and women that serve in the armed forces and especially the ones that didn't get their dues from uh, being over in Vietnam. 
that didn't take anything off of the other people that are serving now. Don't get me wrong. Just uh, being is that there's my generation, the people that went over there and fought and died for a cause that some people say we never should have been, or whether we should or shouldn't, isn't really matter. They served their country. They did their best. Uh, they were drafted. And God bless them, every one of them. Hopefully someday they'll get their props without people uh, saying anything negative about it. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little video. It's pretty much just about the Desert Camo hats and what they mean to me, how much I enjoy them. So this is W. Copeland 38. Hoping you liked it. And I'll be back with more for you.